everyone, it's me Karen and welcome to Purposive Communication. Today we will discuss local and global communication in multicultural setting. Just keep on watching. So first, let us know what is local communication. Local communication is being able to communicate with the members of your local area. In other words, it refers to the people who communicate in the same area like Filipinos to Filipinos, Boholanos to Boholanos. Here in the Philippines, we have over 120 languages spoken in the Philippines. Filipino and English are official languages in the Philippines. English is the common language used in the government. Here in Bohol, we have uh, what we call this one Sinubuanong Bisaya or we speak Sinubuanong Bisaya which is different from those uh, in, Samb in Sambuanga which is Tsavakano. Now let's move on to global communication. It is simply communicating with people across the globe. In line with this, English is considered to be the universal language mainly because it is the most spoken language worldwide. It is widely used in schools, government, governments, and trade. When we say intercultural communication, it refers to the interaction between people with different cultures. No? Here in the uh, Philippines is a good example. Philippines is considered to be a culturally diverse country. Why? Because we have uh, varieties of cultures per region. Another example, Muslims have a different culture than us, no? but still we communicate to them. Another example is uh, Filipinos have different cultures compared than to Americans and to Thais, but still we have a treaties or alliances. Interracial communication, communicating with people from different races. So, inter-ethnic. For example, one ethnic group is communicating with another ethnic group. So, that is an example of inter-ethnic communication. Actually, here in the Philippines, we have more than 170 ethno-linguistic groups and most of them inhabited in Mindanao. It refers to the communication between two or more governments related to different countries. Usually they talk about or they discuss about foreign trades, business to business, market, and other things which is politically relevant. Intracultural communication is far different from those I had mentioned. Intracultural communication simply refers to the communication or the interaction between people with the same culture, races, religion, or even language. In reality, even with the same culture or religion, there is a conflict happens. Why? Because we have different opinions on how we perceive things. How to deal with that? Simply understand and accept the differences thank you and i hope that you have learned something today